Let's go through another way that we can manually add fixtures into our scene. If we go back to the carbon menu, we can open up the carbon library panel. Here we can browse through everything that is in our library, ranging from fixtures, effects, trussing, and way more. In the carbon library we can look through our entire library of fixtures and we can navigate using the handy file tree. So for example, I'm going to add in some Roby LED memes. So I will find it. And adding something from our library into the scene is as easy as right clicking and clicking insert into scene or clicking and dragging into the viewport. So I'm going to add some of these downstage. So I'm going to press E to bring up the rotate tool and rotate these 180 degrees. Then I will change the snapping in the top right so I can properly position on the stage deck. Next, first I'm going to reset the X location and then I'm going to drag to where I want the first fixture. Now I'm going to go to the carbon menu again and go to the carbon tools section so we can use some tools to help populate our scene. So I'm going to go to duplicate array and then I'm going to use a duplicate along line tool. So I'm going to add seven duplicates with a 200 offset between each of them. I'll click apply and you'll see that it'll automatically place all the fixtures in a row. Now instead of manually patching these, I'm going to hold shift and select all of them in the viewport. Or you can go to the outliner and then shift click to select all of them. To patch them, we're going to go to the patch panel again and then open up the auto patch tool. Here we can first update the fixture number. So this will start at 601 with one increment. Next, we can update the patch. So this is going to start at 13.1 and the increments will be auto. We're now going to universe auto wrap and then we're going to update the name as well. Now we can click apply and we can see in the details panel that they all have unique patches. And if we hit play, we can see that all of our fixtures that we added are working properly. However, in this certain scene, I think these fixtures are a bit too dim. So let's fix that. In our next lesson, we'll explore how to modify individual fixture properties to enhance appearance as well as options for improving performance.